Hello Stampers! Thanks for joining me today. I have a floral card for you today. Now we all have those floral stamp sets that we get. Um, this one is the Pansy Patch and it doesn't have like a vase or a pot or anything with it. And so I thought I'd show you today how to use um, a flower stamp set and create a pot for it. So um, we're going to be creating just a pot here and it's pretty simple and I'm just going to show you that. But first I'm going to talk a bit about color. Um, I, I like to use complementary colors and um, what I do is I pull out a color wheel. Now I have this great big one and this was from Amazon that I purchased. It's a creative color wheel and I picked out my main color that I wanted to use and this um, I used starry sky for the edge of my pansies and the paper here and I knew I wanted to use that color and so I was like I needed to find the complementary color for that and what I did was I picked it out right and then there's an arrow here and it shows you directly what color complements it well and so it says um, orange yellow and this is a blue violet so starry sky is a blue violet and so we'll be using these two colors that complement each other. Now um, you can use this and turn it to any color that you like. That is your main color for your card to pick out your complementary color. So that's what I did here. And I come up with Mango Melody, which is an orange yellow color. So here we have it. And boy, did this turn out bright and cheerful, and I just love it. So that is how I picked out my colors today. And I just thought I'd show that to you because it's pretty simple to do. And you don't have to rack your brain trying to figure out what color will go with it, right? So we're going to start with our main panel. And I have it right here. And our main panel is three and three quarters square. And it's... Um, basic white. Now all the dimensions for this card are down below this video. Just click show more and you'll see them there along with all the links to the products. that will take you directly to my online store where you can shop with me 24-7. So we're going to start with our main panel here and um, I'm going to start with trying to figure out um, where to place my leaves first for my scene because they're kind of in the back here and they're filling up some space and I don't want them to look like they're not in the pot. So what I did is I die cut a circle and I used the circle layering dies and this is the um, second to the largest circle from that set and so I die cut it out of a post-it note actually a double post-it note. I have two post-it notes here. And I die cut that out and I got as much of the sticky part on the circle as I could. So like I, when I used it, here's the sticky part up here. I made sure I was as, up to the top as much as I could when I die cut it out. So I have that done and now I want to make it like it's a pot. So I have the sticky part down here and I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and I'm going to cut the non-sticky part off about halfway here. I'll get rid of those pieces. And now where the sticky part is, I'm just going to cut a little wedge off there. So that's what I cut off. And this will be our pot. So I didn't cut all the sticky off so this will still stick on our card here and I'm just going to temporarily stick it on there just so I can see where I want to put some of my leaves. Now this stamp set is a multi um, stamped image set so you don't have to do any coloring it's all stamping. So we're going to start with the leaf first and I have, have two colors here. I have pear pizzazz and that's what we're going to start with and we have mossy meadow which will be our darker color for our leaf. So pear pizzazz and this is for the solid leaf part. And I'm using all like the small images for this set. There's large um, images for the pansies and small ones. We're using the small pansies. And then we're using this leaf here. So I'm gonna start with my leaf. 
And this is where my pot is going to be, so I'm just going to add some leaves here around above the pot. Just filling in some of this space. And we'll have a leaf just like right on the edge there. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm going to remove this and I'm just going to add some down here where I think the rim of the pot will be. All right, so there are some leaves to start with. And then I'm going to use the stamp to do the dark veiny part of our leaves. So that was pure pizzazz. We're going to go with Mossy Meadow, which is much darker. And we're going to stamp in our veins for each one. I have to kind of lean in here, so excuse me if you see the top of my head. This is much easier to do when you're not on camera, believe me. And if you're off a little, it's no, no big deal. Here we go. A couple more here. You can line these up perfectly, but um, when you're on camera, and you're not able to lean forward and to be on top of it, it makes it a little difficult. <laughs> okay, so we have some leaves there, and I kind of figured out where they would go. And I think I'm going to use that mossy meadow since we have it out. And there's this little stem stamp, and we're going to stamp it because we're going to need it later for our little bud that we're going to have out here. And I'm just going to stamp it in between these two leaves, I think. There we go. So that's all ready for to put our butt on later. All right, so I'm gonna put our pot mask back on here. And I probably have like a half an inch um, from the bottom. There we go. And now I'm going to get out some Mango Melody ink. And we're going to define where our pot is. Now we're not going to put any over the top edge of it, but we are going to put it on the sides and bottom. And I'm going to use a blending brush for this. And I'm just going to hold it down a bit and I'm just going to come a little bit above that pot. and all under it. There we go. And that will define where your pot is. So then you take your mask off and now you have a pot for your plants. And that was Mango Melody. Now I want a shadow under my pot. I forgot about that, so I'm going to put this back on. So now we're going to put a shadow in. I'm going to turn this upside down to work on it. I'm going to bring in some Cajun craze here and a blending brush. And I'm going to add Cajun craze. And I'm just going to come out just a little bit from um, on each side here. And we're going to take a post-it note. And I'm just going to lay this. This is a 3x5 post-it note. And I'm going to mask this all, leaving a bit of that pot showing underneath. Now that's the mask for the pot. And then I'm going to go back and forth here. To create a bit of a shadow for that pot. So then when you take that off, there's a little bit of a shadow that your pot and your plant is creating. And that was with Cajun Craze. 
And then there's one more thing I want to do to this pot. Um, I want it to look like it has a little saucer underneath it. And this is easy to do. We're just going to take a ruler. Again, I'm going to turn this upside down and I'm just going to leave a bit of that pot showing. And I'm just going to come up probably about an eighth of an inch from where the shadow is because I don't want it to look like that shadow is created from um, this line is right with that shadow. So we're going to go above it and I'm going to use the fine point of a smoky slate marker. And this is the light smoky slate stamp and blend marker. And I'm just going to make a line here across the pot. And that just gives you the illusion that there is a little saucer underneath it. Super simple. Okay. And now I want to add just a little bit of shadow like in our top of our pot because these leaves would be casting a shadow on our pot. So I'm going to take a blending brush and some smoky slate ink and I'm just going to lightly add some smoky slate around this pot here. And I'm trying not to go outside of the pot or put a whole lot on those leaves. I'm just adding just a little bit of that smoky slate here. There we go. And now it's time for some flowers. We're going to add some flowers in here. That's the fun part, right? So, um, when I picked out my colors for my flowers, I picked out a light blue, a medium blue, and then the dark blue. So my light blue is balmy blue, my medium blue is starry sky, and then I use Night of Navy, Navy as my dark blue. And that's what I'm using to create my flowers with. So we're going to start out with balmy blue. You're going to need a scrap of white paper too. This is basic white for some extra flowers. And I'm going to start with the solid stamp for the small pansy. And I'm starting with balmy blue and we're just going to add some in here. Let's see, that's, we're going to add a third one here and I think I'll put it right here at the edge of the pot. Okay, so we have three there and then we're going to add three on our additional scrap basic white here. Okay, that was all done with the solid small pansy stamp and balmy blue. So now we're going to bring in our medium tone, which is starry sky. And this is the small detailed stamp for the flower. This gives us this great dark color around the edges. So we're going to line these up and give them a stamp. those. And then we'll do these also that are on our scrap paper. Such a beautiful stamp set. Okay, so that was Starry Sky. Before I forget, I want to stamp our little um, bud here and solid bud image I'm going to do with the balmy blue and that's what's going to be coming off of this stem that we stamped here so we're at that and then the starry sky is the additional stamp that is the more detailed so there is our bud 
So now we're ready to go on to our dark color, which is Night of Navy. And that is, we're going to stamp the center of our image in, our little flowers in. And it, it almost looks like a firework. That's what I think of when I see it. And we're going to stamp that on here. And that gives us our dark center. You really need that nice dark color in the center. It really helps. Okay, so there's our dark center. And then I have a dark Daffodil Delight stamp and blend marker here. I'm going to use that to color in our centers. So I just make a dot in the center of each flower. There's a little triangle stamp you can do for this, but I just find it just as easy to color it in. That's my cheat. <laughs> there's always a cheat for every card for me. Okay, so there's our, our flowers, and we have our additional flowers here. And you can use, there's a matching die set that you can pick up for this, but I'm just going to um, cut these out really quick. Um, I'm going to fussy cut them just so they don't have any white edge to them. I like that dark edge. So I'm going to get these all cut out and I'll be right back. Okay, I have our three little images all cut out. And I'm just going to flip those over and I'm going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on them. You can fit three dimensionals on each of these. go. And our little scene's moving right along here. And we're going to be popping these up. And it's nice that we have these additional flowers here because you definitely want to make sure you've covered up this area here where there's no top to the pot. We're just putting these on. There's one. And that kind of covers that spot up to where um, you can't tell there's not a top to the pot. Then we'll add one here. You just add them wherever you think you should. Um, I want an additional one down here um, covering up the end of that uh, stem there. So there is our flowers on here and we have one additional thing. I'm going to bring in this, uh, this light smoky slate stamp on blend marker. And what I like to do with this, and I'm going to use the fine tip for this, I'm just going to add a little shadow under each of these bottom images to really define that it has a big shadow here. And there is your pansies in a pot. Now you could probably use about any flower that you have for this. Um, some flowers have big long stems. What you would do is, let me find my mask here again. Um, if you're stamping something with a stem, you would keep this on and when you stamped your flowers, the stem would not come onto your main panel here. And then you just have your flowers on top of your pot. There you have it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start putting our card together. There's one additional thing we need to do. Um, we have a card base here. This is Mango Melody. 
and it's five and a half by eight and a half and I have it folded in half to create my quarter card. And then I wanted to emboss this front panel so I took my gingham embossing folder, such a cute folder, and I turned it so that the Stampin' Up! logo is up towards the top. And then I flattened out my card so I could tell where it goes. And then I ran it through my Stampin' Cut emboss machine with my embossing folder just covering the front of the card. So I did that. And that's all embossed by magic of video. So we have that done. And now I just want to darken this a little bit. So I have my Mango Melody ink pad and this is Mango Melody cardstock. And so I'm just going to lightly drag this over just to bring that uh, design to the forefront a bit. You can do it as light, as dark as you want, but I just think it looks so much better when you add some color to it. it you can really see it much, much better. Okay, so there is that. And next I'm going to bring in a strip of designer series paper here. And this is the Starry Sky designer series paper. And this comes in the 2022-2024 in color pack. And this is all six by six and it has all the in colors in it with different designs. So I picked this little checked pattern here and this is one inch by five and a half. I'm just gonna glue this on my card front. The back side of this is really cute too. It's just a little polka dots. So I'm going to add this to my card front and I'm just going to leave oh about an eighth of an inch of the card base showing there on the left. And then I have a little strip of Starry Sky cardstock and this is one fourth inch by five and a half. And we're going to glue that on. I just want to um, glue this on over the edge of my designer series paper here. Kind of finishes it off a little bit, don't you think? So there we have that. And I'm going to take my main panel and I'm going to back it with a Starry Sky panel. This panel of Starry Sky is 3 and 7 8 square. There we go. And then I'm just going to glue this to our card front. I'm just kind of centering it up here. There we go. Isn't that nice and bright and cheerful? Okay, for the inside of the card, I just wanted to carry on that um, same color combination. So I have a starry sky panel here that's 4 by 5.25 and then a mango melody panel here that's 3 and 3 quarters by 5. And I didn't put a sentiment on this because I don't know what I want to use it for yet. So I'm just leaving it blank. There's some great sentiments in that stamp set, but um, this kind of card you can use for about anything. One of those all occasion cards. There we go. There's the inside. Isn't that cute without blue. So there is our finished project for today. I hope you enjoyed this project and that it gives you just some ideas on what to do when you don't have a pot or a vase for the flowers that you have in your stamp set. So there's my card for the day. I hope you try it. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Bye.